Hey guys, I'm Jelly Arts, I'm Jelly, and I'm back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to draw Yami from Black Clover. Now, this is a requested tutorial. Now, I haven't made any Black Clover tutorials or any videos related to Black Clovers on the channel before. Now, I have been meaning to make an Asta tutorial, alright, but you know, Yami was pretty requested, so I just thought that I would make a Yami tutorial first, and you know, uh, eventually I'll make you know Asta and then and the rest of the you know main characters. Now, I haven't really made any tutorials or videos related to Black Clover because I'm not the biggest fan of the anime. I have watched the first few episodes, okay? I think I've watched the first 30 episodes. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of it because I feel like it's a very, very, like, very, very um, cliche anime. So I, I, I didn't really, you know, get too involved with it. I watched a few episodes just to know what it's about because, you know, it's a very, very popular anime. But other than that, I didn't really, you know, get too into it so that's pretty much the reason why i haven't made any sort of tutorials videos anything related to it but people still you know like the anime and people have been requesting that i make tutorials of the characters in the anime so if there are any characters that you want me to make a tutorial of, just let me know okay just leave a suggestion down below let me know who exactly you'd want me to make it doesn't have to be from this anime it can be from you know any series any anime just let me know leave a suggestion down below and i'll definitely get to it but yeah as you can see here i'm doing this whole thing traditionally okay um it's been a while since i made a traditional tutorial i know a lot of people missed you know the old ways of making videos so i do want to kind of bring that back and I mean, I will still make digital videos, but maybe not for tutorials. I feel like people benefit a whole lot more from this kind of videos, real-time pencil videos, you know, the old ways of making videos, the, you know, the typical ways. And I'll try to make the whole, most of the thing in real time, you know, the way that I normally do. Now, the first thing that I did here, okay, is you see that he's, he's kind of tilting a little bit, okay? He's not in a straight line, okay? So the first thing that I did is I drew a tilted line here like this, okay? And then I pretty much drew like, you know, like a, an X almost to kind of place the, where the shoulder is and then I drew you know the basic sh um, shape of the of the face but what I'm gonna try to do first is roughly sketch out his body just so that we kind of place the whole thing well all right and not just figuring out as we're you know going kind of planning out the entire drawing first just so that we can have a clear a relaxed mind when it comes to adding details and stuff like that so we don't have to worry about you know composition and all that now he has a katana okay so it's gonna be holding that right here and okay, this is just a very rough sketch of how the whole thing will be we'll add details later on don't worry about that he does have like a cape thingy here on his um right shoulder so i'm gonna roughly do that here like this he's also gonna be with um, i probably should draw like his book like the book thingy i don't remember what they, what they called it the book you know the book that they usually use to like summon spells and stuff like that yami is a very very muscular character all right so uh, we do want to keep that in mind like you know his body is pretty big compared to his head for example okay i mean not that i mean his head isn't that small i probably should make it a little tiny one a bit bigger but compared to his head his head his head is actually pretty small compared to his body because he's a very um muscular character all right so that's pretty much the basic sketch of the entire drawing so what i'm gonna do now okay is i'm gonna zoom into his face and we can start adding some detail. All right, so his face is probably, hopefully not going to be too complicated. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is that I feel like his eyes should be a little bit higher than where I've placed it. Okay, for example, right about here, kind of the middle, almost of the circle that we previously did. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly just draw the eyes. Now his eyes, okay, is pretty thin. That is uh, something to keep in mind, like really small, but kind of long, okay, long and thin so that is um one thing that you do wanna wanna keep in mind there all right so once we've pretty much done that what we're gonna do now is draw the iris now the iris is pretty small and then we're gonna draw the pupil it's just gonna be a tiny little black dot right in the middle of the of the iris there so what we're gonna do now is draw the eyebrows for example okay just draw it like a line here like this and then draw, draw another one here now the nose is gonna be a little bit higher because you know we are seeing him from the bottom. Uh, I probably should draw like the upper eyelids. Okay, I probably forgot to draw that. Yami is a very very kind of relaxed character, so we want to kind of show that in the facial expression, like in the eyes. His eyes is actually kind of really thin and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So what we're gonna do now is draw the mouth. For those of you who know the character, he usually smokes. Okay, he does have a cigarette. Now you can either draw the cigarette right here 
all right but i'm gonna draw the cigarette him with it you know he's gonna be holding the cigarette so you can either you can do it either way okay it depends on how you like the character but um he's gonna be holding it in this in this drawing here okay one thing that i did forget to do is um draw like beard okay now he doesn't have a very refined beard it's more of a kind of like he hasn't shaved or i don't know but his hair he doesn't have a lot of hair just kind of dots and then a little bit like at, in his chin he does have a very refined chin one thing that you do want to keep in mind is that when like for example here when the chin curves here like this or the jaw is way lower than the mouth okay that's one detail that many people don't really pay attention to not in this drawing like in this drawing yes you do have to keep in mind that more than usual but when you're drawing like a normal drawing for example like always keep in mind when the you know like the jaw starts to curve and this one is a little bit lower in the mouth than the mouth because we're seeing him as i mentioned from the bottom to the top but always keep that those kind of little details in mind so that you know whenever you draw any drawing you always know how to um to draw the shape of the face because the shape of the face is always um is where is where most people kind of mess up and you do want to keep in mind you know those tiny little details that will help you draw things better hopefully that was easy to draw so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna draw his hair now his his hair is probably the most difficult part and I'm probably gonna do the whole thing in real time uh, but I, I'll probably do the you know the beginning in real time but the first thing that I did here is draw the ears okay we are gonna see the bottom part of the ears but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of roughly just draw like an afro okay just very roughly now his hair is probably very difficult to make so yeah just try your best to draw it as best as you can it's just kind of like a lot of strands of hair and it's probably very difficult to get it the first try but yeah just try your best anyways first off I'm just gonna quickly just roughly just draw them okay and then I'll define it after something like this all right and then it goes all the way to the bottom and then it curves all the way down try your best to make it look uh, as natural as possible okay the roots of the hair is going like this like so okay like always try to keep each strand kind of natural okay and always keep in mind where all the strands are coming from i think that's pretty much it i'll just do the whole thing in time lapse okay and then i'll come back and then we can continue drawing the rest of the body So hopefully that wasn't too difficult. I mean, his hair is pretty messy, so it is a little bit, you know, tricky to kind of know how his hair, um, you know, to accurately draw his hair. I did, you know, take the time to kind of refine a little bit the face here and there. Uh, I don't think I did a better job than I did in the beginning, but one thing that I did, I didn't mention, for example, here in the iris, since he's kind of looking at us, you know, from the top, the top of his iris, you know, it, it kind of goes like like this that's kind of how the iris is and then you know the you know the bottom part is covered a little bit more than the bottom part so that's kind of one thing that you do want to keep in mind if you want to draw the eyes now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to you know move from this and kind of draw the neck here for example as for the size of the neck his neck is pretty much this size of his face his neck is pretty thick i mean you don't really notice it but he is a little bit of a three-quarter view he's kind of looking to that side just a teeny weeny bit so i'm gonna try to compress everything that is on the left side for example you always want to keep that in mind whenever you're drawing any part of his body okay it can be any any little detail okay it can be the eyes here the collarbone for example little stuff like that always keep that in mind okay always keep in mind what view exactly that you're drawing and you'll always make a good looking drawing if you always keep those kind of little details in mind um, i feel like we should leave a little bit more space to show the chest so i'm gonna erase this part a little bit and i'm gonna draw the chest all right something like that so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna draw the cape thing all right it's going it's coming through here and the cape is gonna be black it's gonna have like a bull logo all right right in the middle of it i mean if you want to you can do that um, but i mean it's a little bit complicated but I mean, you can simplify it. You don't have to make everything super detailed and stuff like that all the time. So, and that's the basic shape of the cape. All right, so that's pretty much it for that. So I think I should probably kind of zoom out a little bit so that we can see the entire drawing. All right, so now looking at the overall image, one thing that I did not keep in mind is, um, you know, since he is, you know, the, the sword thing is kind of resting on this shoulder, this shoulder is going to kind of tuck in a little bit more because the sword is resting on this shoulder so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna continue here all right with um the rest of the body i should probably f continue here on the on this shoulder this part probably is not too complicated and then just draw the tricep part 
and then draw the biceps here. Maybe just a little bit more, a little bit bigger. All right, about that size is um is perfect. After we've done that, what we're gonna do now is draw this hand right here. Try curve here, like so. Now the actual tricky part, okay, is to draw this hand. Okay, we're gonna draw the other one, but the other one is actually a lot easier than this one, okay? So let's take this little by little. So first of all, let's, you know, kind of divide like the forearm and the hand. So we're just gonna draw like a little curved line here, like so. Okay, that kind of divides both of, um, both of them. And since the point of view is kind of like this, you know, there are going to be kind of uh, wrinkles here at the uh, at the side of the hand, all right? Now, so what we're gonna do now is roughly just draw the entire hand. The thumb is gonna be on this side, and then the pinky is gonna be on that side. And if you have any sort of trouble knowing how to draw like a hand or anything like that, always use your hand, okay, as an example. This is probably the best way to know how hands work. If you don't know where the thumb and the pinky is, always use your hand, okay? You can either take a picture or go to the mirror. That always helps to figure out how the hand works because me personally, I, I'm sure I have way more problems than you do when it comes to, um, to drawing hands. So always kind of use that. I think that's a like a the perfect cheat as your hand it's with you 24 7 okay just use it whenever it is that you need it that's uh that's pretty much it so this is the pinky okay the pinky is gonna be at the inside and this is gonna be what do you call it this finger ah right i'm forgetting each name not the ring this is the ring finger no this is the middle finger ring finger pinky and this one i don't know why i forgot this one but yeah, this finger. And then we're gonna draw this part, like this meaty part here, and that's gonna be this. Index finger, that's it. You know, since I don't use the name all that often, you know, sometimes it slips up, slips away from my head. So I think that's pretty much the basic shape of the of the hand. Okay, now it's, it's a matter of adding um, more and more detail, okay, kind of figuring out how the hand works. No, I mean the fingers, for example, you know, since each finger has joints, uh, what you want to do is kind of refine that a little bit, okay, kind of like this and then something like that. The, this one should have three, not four. I'm gonna keep that in mind. It always have three different curves. And then the knuckles, okay, I did forget to draw the knuckles. Each finger has each knuckle, okay. So you always want to do that as well, always. All right, so that's pretty much it for this one. Now, as I mentioned, he is going to be holding a cigarette. So we're going to draw that. You can either draw the cigarette right here or you can just draw the cigarette in his mouth. Uh, one thing that I probably should do is kind of make this a little bit bigger because I feel like it's a little too small. What we're going to do now is finish off this coat. It does have kind of these edges to it. Okay, it's not a perfect kind of cut. It is going to have this rough shape to it. Oh yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing too um too complicated. Just try to randomize it as you know as best as you can. And then there's gonna be a bowl shape, as I mentioned, kind of here. All right, kind of like that. Now I'm not gonna go into much detail on this. If you really wanna get into it, um, I suggest you just Google and then just use a reference picture. And, you know, you can add as much detail as you want. But I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna get too into it. And then the rest is just pretty much black. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna you know, go straight to this hand. Now, I have no idea how long this video is gonna take. I think this this, this video is probably one of the long ones. I predict about 20 minutes or so, <laughs> but I feel like this, this tutorial is gonna be long because there's a lot of things to cover, not just, you know, a face. I think this hand is a lot easier because it, lit it is a little bit more typical, kind of holding a sword. I think most people kind of drawn this version of a hand like many times, okay? I think most people kind of have a better knowledge of how to draw this specific hand pose. He's gonna be holding the sword, so I'm gonna roughly draw each finger. As I mentioned, I'm not I'm not the best at drawing hands, like I really am not. So I'm gonna I'm really I'm gonna mess up most of the time. So uh, yeah, apologies in advance for that. I feel like we are pretty much done with the basic thing. So now is is pretty much just about you know just adding details, the nails. Uh, some shading. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna draw the katana or sword or whatever you want to call it Try your best to make it straight. I mean it is gonna curve a little bit, but I feel like this is this curve is a little too much So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh, kind of fix that just a little bit kind of maybe something like that I don't know. But yeah, the sword is gonna be relaxing on his shoulder So I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit, but I think the best thing is to kind of fix the hand You know what? I'm gonna erase the hand all right, just for a little bit. Going to first take care of the sword, kind of make it straight, make everything work, and then after I'll draw the hand. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do this whole thing in real time. Okay, I'm gonna fix the hand and everything. Okay, I'm gonna finish it, and then we can continue with the rest of the drawing.
Alright, so if you want to draw the sword, okay, the first thing that I would advise you to do is first draw the entire sword, okay, and then draw the hand on top of that. Do not draw the hand first and then draw the sword after, okay? Don't do what I did. Uh, I just thought that, I don't know, I, I didn't really plan it well and things didn't actually work out. So yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, typical errors of drawing. So if you are gonna draw the sword, I would advise you to do that first. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for that. So the rest is pretty easy, okay? I mean, it's not too complicated. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is first add some details on the, um, on the shirt so it doesn't look too flat in the arms as well. Okay, you can add as much detail as, as you feel fit. Yeah, um, after we've finished with this part now, it's the time to draw the book. Now the book isn't too complicated, okay? It's just pretty much just a book. And since we're looking at it from the front, it's actually pretty easy to draw. All we're gonna do here is just draw like two curvy lines here like that, kind of like drawing a bird almost, really, really simple. And what we're gonna do here is just kind of draw a page that is kind of coming out of the book. After doing that, what we're gonna do now is draw like the cover of the book. Instead of drawing a curved line, what we're gonna do is draw a straight line that is going out like so. And then we're gonna draw this middle part here like this and then draw another curved line that is going out like that and then we're just gonna draw indicate the spine of the book kind of like that now the book does have a lot of detail okay uh, i don't think i'll get into that if you want to get into you know how the details look of the book and stuff like that i mean you can google how the books look and you know you can work it out by yourself but uh, i'm not gonna get into that uh, i'm just gonna just shade it okay just slightly just shade the entire thing yeah i think that is um pretty much it so hopefully you guys were able to follow along with uh, the tutorial hopefully it wasn't too difficult so uh what i'm gonna do now is i'm probably gonna finish it off all right i'm not gonna ink it i'm gonna use the same pencil all right uh just so that you know everybody is able to use one material so the only thing that i used is a paper a pencil one pencil and this is a i think it's a 2b maybe or maybe something like, like hp but it's, it doesn't really matter it's one pencil that i'm gonna use for the entire thing. So what I'm gonna do first is um, I'm gonna erase the whole thing with a kneaded eraser with this. I'm gonna lightly remove the whole thing, all right, and then kind of add detail on top of that, all right? So, so I'm gonna finish it off and then later I'm gonna come back with some final words. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial on how to draw Yami from Black Clover. Now let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this tutorial was easy to do. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions on who you'd want me to draw specifically, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. But other than that, yeah, it was a very fun illustration to make. And if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please just give this video a big thumbs up, guys, because it helps a lot to know that you guys are liking the videos. And also follow me on Instagram. Every single tutorial that I make, I always post the final result on my Instagram. And I just recently made another Instagram, okay? Um, my main Instagram is jolly.art, but I just recently made another one specifically for digital drawings, okay? And that is um, jolly.art artsy uh, just a y at the end for my digital drawings i just thought that it was better to kind of separate where i put my digital and traditional drawing just you know so i can so things are organized and i feel like both of them are actually pretty different so that's pretty much the reason why i made a separate account specifically for digital art so if you want to follow my instagram my main instagram is jolly.art and my digital art account is um jolly.artsy so yeah let me know what you guys think thank you all for liking commenting, sharing and subscribing remember to do what you love never stop drawing and i'll see you guys in the next video